a second. Let me get myself set up. All right, gonna make that bigger. All right, and I'm gonna make the um, text. Okay, so I will leave you to the, the muting. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna sh share the slideshow here. Um, uh, I'm not gonna share the whole slideshow. I'm just gonna share you know, the screen that I have. But I did put um, the link to the uh, deck in the chat, and I can put that in again for anybody that came in late. So um, first thing I want to show you is how to make a word cloud. Now, this is how to make a word cloud banner, like if you wanted to do it from LinkedIn. But you could put a word cloud in any of your social media. So for the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to wordart.com. It is a free tool and all you need to do is have a, I think a, a Gmail account or a Twitter account uh, or Facebook and you can set up this free account. So the first thing you're gonna do is cl click on this green create your own button. And then you're gonna click on the red create button. Now, if I wanted to um, create a visual here. So um, I'm gonna just use Giving Tuesday as an example. So I'm gonna type in the words Giving Tuesday. And then I'm going to put in um, donate um, and then um, fundraise. Okay, we're just gonna worry about those particular three words. Now, um, if I wanted to choose a shape, okay, so Let's say um, I can see all animals, baby, birthday, etc. So if I wanted to do heart, okay, um, I like this heart in hand. So I'm going to choose this particular image. Now, if I wanted to pick a font, I could choose any of these fonts that are offered here. So let me choose something that's easily readable. So I'm just gonna choose Expressway. Now, if I wanted to choose layout, I can have horizontal, vertical, vertical and horizontal, et cetera. I'm just gonna keep everything horizontal. I think that'll be the easiest to read. Now, style is where we get into colors. So if you have a specific color, for your um, brand, for your logo, for your nonprofit, you can click on these, this word called custom, and then you're gonna click on the colors. There is a white bar or um, bubble here that goes across and you can you know, pick certain colors based upon just picking you know, pink, white, and black, for example, or you can actually type your hex code in, in this um, little section right here. So let's say I wanted to do uh, pink and white and black. And, and so I'm gonna do this hot pink and I'm gonna add to palette. And then I'm gonna do black, I'm gonna add to palette and maybe a gray, I'll just move this around and add to palette. Now to get rid of the colors that came originally, I'm just gonna click on them and it will X them out, all right? And now I'm gonna click on close. So I wanna go back to the words. Now, I'm not sure which word I should um, probably make the biggest. It'd probably be Giving Tuesday. So I'm gonna make this, uh, if size is not gonna be a one, it will be a nine. 
and then donate, maybe I'll make that a four and fundraise, I'll maybe make that a three. Now I'm gonna click the word visualize. That's that red button up at the top left. So now I have this image here that I can download. And now I'm gonna take download it and we're gonna put this in another um, graphic. So when I download this, first I wanna save it, okay? So it's gonna save as WordArt 583, but I really don't wanna save that as WordArt 583. I'm gonna do heart in hand. We're just gonna call it that. So now I'm gonna um, save it again. Oh, it already says saved, okay. Now I wanna download this. Now I can download a standard PNG and a standard JPEG absolutely free. But let's say I wanted a high quality PNG. So if I wanted to do that, you can see it's $4.99. Or I can have other options here. But I don't want to do that for my purposes. You know, being a nonprofit executive director, I know, you know, whatever I can do and, and obtain for free, that's the best thing. So I'm just gonna download a standard PNG. Now, if I wanted to put this on my website for some reason, I would wanna download the JPEG because it takes less resources. Mm -hmm. But in this case, standard G, uh, PNG, and it's gonna be in the bottom left-hand corner of my screen. <clears throat> so I will use that later. So now I'm going to stop share my screen because I have to go to another Google Drive. And now I'm going to share my screen again. So I have different accounts set up on different Google Drives. So this is my nonprofit Google Drive. And by the way, if you are a 501c3, you can have Google for nonprofits for, for free. So what I wanna do is I wanna create a design and I'm gonna create an Instagram post. So you can have an absolutely free um, Canva account, but you have limitations of what you can do. But if you are a 501c3, you can contact canva.com and, and submit your 501c3 paperwork from the IRS, they will give you a free Canva Pro account and you can invite 10 people on your team. So you can see here's the Great Careers team. So I have 10 people that I can invite to use the Canva Pro account, which is terrific. So in this case, I'm just gonna start and create a design from scratch. So I wanna do an Instagram post. So I can also do a custom size if I wanted to by clicking the plus button here and I can choose whatever height and width I want in the way of pixels. But in this case, I just want a standard Instagram post, which is a square. Now <clears throat> I'm going to choose um, a color for the background uh. of my post. So in this case, um, I'm going to go to the word elements um, and I could insert um, any elements that are um, frames, okay, uh, photos, graphics, videos, audio, etc. Now, because I've got this square here and it's white, there's a little color palette up here. And I'm just gonna choose gray because our original post with the hand and heart or heart and hand is uh, pink and gray and white. Now, if I wanted a specific hex color, then I could type that in here at the top where it says try blue or hashtag 
you know, and the hex color. Now, I'm going to go to my downloads folder on my computer. So bear with me one second while I get to my downloads folder. And I've got that um, heart in hand. It's, and I'm going to drag it and drop it into my square here. So here is my heart and hand picture, which is gray and pink and white. And I think I'm gonna take this all the way to the edge, just, um, but the white maybe doesn't look so great. So if I click on this white part and, it's, and I click on edit image, I can click on this BG remover, which stands for background remover. So now I have the image and I've taken away that white background. Um, so if I'm going to add some verbiage to this, I'm going to click on text. And I'm going to add a heading. And I can stretch this out a little bit. And I don't have to use that font. So if you have a specific font for your nonprofit, you can um, choose that font. And I want to drag this over to the right a little bit and get this centered. So let's say I want to choose Noto Sans or, um, yeah, yeah, there's Noto Sans. And now I'm going to make this nice and big to maybe an 80 point font. And now I can just go click on the verbiage here. And I will say, um, donate, whoops, I want a capital D. Donate on hashtag Giving Tuesday. And then I might put my um, uh, website down at the bottom. Um, so I will copy and paste this. And I can drag it down here to the bottom. And I'm going to get rid of the hashtag giving Tuesday. I'll take that verbiage. I've got it centered. And I'll do give butter.com slash great careers PHL. So now this is a little bit too big. I want it to just fit on the bottom. So I can click this minus sign until I get it smaller. Or I could actually go into the 61 and maybe make it um, 48. Okay, so now if I get this centered, you'll see that pink line going up and down in the middle. So now I have that centered in the middle of the page. So now I have a very simple um, square where I can do an Instagram post, I can use it on LinkedIn, and I can easily change this to um, a Facebook post by changing the size. But first let me do, uh, change this heading where it says add a heading, I need to give this a name. So tech, soup, IG, um, actually, may, let me make it giving Tuesday IG for Instagram. Spell that right. Okay. So now if I go back to my home in Canva, I should see this as a project.
renders. Okay, so here it is here. Now, if I click on these three little dots, I can, um, I can download it if I wanted to post it or I can make a copy. So in this case, I want to make a copy because I now want to make this a different size. So if I now pull up this copy and instead of IG at the, at the back, back end, I'll make it FB for Facebook. And I'm going to take away the copy of. And now I've renamed this. But now I got to resize this. So if I just click on the image and I click on resize, let's say I'm going to make it um, 1200 by 630. That works nicely on Meetup. It works nicely on Twitter. It works nicely on Facebook. So let me just click resize. So now I've got this, oops. Now I've got this image and I can um, make this hand in heart and hand way bigger, or I could just leave it as is. But let's say I did want to make it bigger so that I take that, um, that wrist from the left side to the right side. And I'm going to get rid of, um, I'm going to make this all on one line. So I'm going to backspace. And now I have to make the word box bigger. So it'll go across the page and it'll still be centered. Now, if I move this image up a little bit, then I still have my uh, donation uh, website at the bottom. And I didn't have to do a lot of work to recreate this image to another size. So if you do Eventbrite for events, um, I believe that's 2160 by 1080. Um, you know, you could resize it again and call it EB at the end, Eventbrite. Or I might, instead of doing this as Facebook, I might just say R for rectangle so that I could use it on Meetup, I could use it on Twitter, on Facebook. So um, that's really simple. If you wanted to make um, uh, an image using a word cloud, using wordart.com, and then importing it into Canva. So there's one more thing that I would like to show you. I would like to show you how to make a QR code for free and then you could actually uh, put that in an image also. So in this case, I'm now going to make this a little bit smaller because I'm going to put a QR code on the right side of this image. So if I go to QR code monkey, um, let me separate that. QR code monkey, I'm just gonna look that up on Google. Now, I never like to click on the ones that have ads. So I will scroll down and here it says QR code dash monkey dash dot com. So if I click on this QR code generator and I wanna drive people to my donation website, which is givebutter.com slash great careers PHL. So here's this website. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it into, I got to get rid of this uh, QR code monkey. So I'm going to replace this QR code monkey thing with my donation website, except all cookies. Now, if I wanted to set colors, you know, I'm just going to leave it black, but you could put your hex colors um, of your logo of your nonprofit in there. Now, if I wanted to add a logo image, 
I could actually add my logo. So if I click on upload image, um, okay, somebody's got a mute, please. I don't have I don't have it easily handy. Uh, I just moved and I'm not in my normal office environment, but I do remember I have my logo on December 24th. So I'm just gonna go back to that uh, just to make it quick and easy. So here is my logo. I'm gonna open it up. <clears throat> and now I can click, it's very simple, click create QR code. So there's my logo right smack dab in the middle of this QR code. Now, if I wanted to customize the design, you can get other QR code um, dots or whatever these things are. Let's say I wanted this little one. So now I'm gonna create this QR code and it has a little bit different flavor to it. And now I can download the PNG. It says, do not refresh or close the window. And there's an ad, so I don't need, okay? I don't need this ad. And now it's in the bottom left-hand corner of my screen. So the last thing that I'm going to do is go back to Canva and I can drag and drop this QR code into my graphic. We just have to give it a minute to render there. And I can scooch it over to the right. And I think I want to make it a little bit smaller. And there I go. So, so the people logo in the middle of the QR code doesn't affect when people scan that? No, it doesn't. No, their logo does not. So um, I deal, I write resumes and LinkedIn profiles also aside from running my nonprofit. So if people wanted to, um, put their LinkedIn uh, QR code in and put their you know, professional picture in. It doesn't have to be a, a logo. It could be a picture, you know, any JPEG or, or PNG you can put in. So, um, uh, and then I guess the other thing I wanna show you is, let's say you have an event um, for your nonprofit. I'm gonna go back to the elements and I'm gonna pop in this frame. So I want a little circle here. This is not gonna be a nicely finished um, image, but I just wanna at least show you this feature. I'm gonna go back to uploads because I've uploaded pictures before. So here is my picture. I can just drag and drop it in that circle. Or let's say I had a square picture. If I dragged and dropped it in that circle, it's a frame that would just be, you know, for, um, it, it would encapsulate the picture of the person if you had a, excuse me, a speaker at your event. So I want to go back to um, the deck and explain a couple more things with the resources, and then I will take questions. So it's bit.ly slash tech soup graphics. And that will bring up my very short and sweet deck, which has, uh, this is a Google slide deck and therefore anybody can access this. So what I did is I showed you how to make a word cloud image. Um, so this is how you make a word cloud banner for LinkedIn and it has step-by-step -step instructions. So if you click on that, it'll take you to an article I wrote. This other um, image, let's make this slideshow bigger now, <clears throat> has a whole bunch of resources. Um, I use Canva, but you can also use Over and Snappa. I do not know um, if Over, which is now actually a GoDaddy studio, GoDaddy bought over, just as an FYI. Um, 
I don't know if they have benefits for nonprofits or not. So I am just an absolute Canva fan. I use it pretty much every day. Now, if you need tips for social media, here's some from Buffer, from content, <coughs> excuse me, marketing, Falcon, and socially sorted. And then you can get free pictures and images from all these different links right here. But again, I typically just use the ones from uh, uh, Canva. Now, here's the link for the QR code monkey. I could probably show you one more thing, a free um, profile picture maker. And um, you could also remove a background from a picture using remove BG, but I just use um, the one on the Canva uh, where I clicked edit image and I removed the back background. And then the next slide is how you contact me. Uh, and there's my social media. So it's pretty short and sweet. So let me, do I have time to show how to use this PFP maker for the photo? Sure. Okay, great. So um, I'm gonna go to pfpmaker.com. So I'm going to need to drag a picture, any photo into this little green box with a plus. So what I'm gonna do is go to my binder, to my um, desktop, I think I have my picture on there. And let me find, I know you can't see what I'm doing here because I haven't shared my screen. But let me find a picture of me. You can drag people's pictures from LinkedIn on your desktop. And, and use that, um, but I think my picture, the internet here is slow. Um, so bear with me one minute. Internet's very slow today. Wow. So this will be the last thing that I show you here. And this is pretty cool. So let's say you have a really nice picture of yourself. And in the background, there's a plant, there's a door, there's a window, and it's, you know, maybe you want to use it as your LinkedIn profile photo, or maybe you want to use it um, for your um, um, image, you know, if you have a speaking event or something like that. So you need to just fix um, the background of that image. So this is what this thing is for, pfpmaker.com. And I just have to find, I've got my downloads now. I just have way too many things on my desktop. So bear with me. Okay. So, okay. All right, here we go. So now I'm going to drag my picture into that green circle that had a plus. This is a free tool too. Everything that I've showed you here today is free. You may not be able to do quite as much for free on Canva unless you have a pro account. But if you are a 501c3, you can get a free pro account. So look at this. I dragged and dropped my picture into there and I have all these choices. So I don't know if any of you are on Clubhouse but you know you can make a cool background so your clubhouse picture also stands out. Now, let's say you had a specific hex color. Okay? 
So you can go into this platform and you've already downloaded your picture. I can just click this little drop here and I can choose, let's say I wanted green, okay? So all of these different choices would be that green background. However, if I wanted to pick a specific hex color, I could go into this little drop and I'm gonna click on this little button called RGB and I'm gonna type in a hex color. Um, uh, 19BCCE is a turquoise color. So I'm gonna choose that color because that might be a hex color for my logo or for my nonprofit. So if you wanted to have an image that um, had the same type of background, let's say you had three speakers on a panel and you wanted to match it to your, your um, hex color of your logo, you could take everybody's pictures and you could create the same um, type of background. And all you do to download these, let's say you wanted these little squiggle things, see this little green arrow, you just click on the green arrow and boom, it downloads in the bottom left. So just to give you an example of, um, I'm gonna take you to thought leadership branding.com. And, oops, sorry, dot club, dot leadership branding dot club. And I just wanna show you how we brought a whole bunch of people together that had different pictures. I'm gonna click on about. Oops. And so here's the leadership team. We just took, once it renders here, we just took everybody's picture and made a totally different background using the PFP maker, except it's very slow to load here. Sorry about this bandwidth here. It's, I can't believe how long it's taking for it to come up. Come on now. There we go. Oops. Well, you saw a quick glimpse of it, but there we go. Um, I don't know why my internet is not working right now uh, to load all these, but we took everybody's LinkedIn picture and we created a different background using this pfpmaker.com. So we would all look similar, having a similar type of background. Um, another thing you could do is if you want everybody's pictures to look sort of the same, you could make a black and white um, from their LinkedIn profile pictures also. So that's pretty much all I have for you today. I've showed you pfpmaker.com, wordart.com, and canva.com. So I am absolutely open to questions if you have any. So hopefully this gives you a couple new skills so you can make some images for your nonprofit and all for free. That was awesome. I saw Melanie's hand up. Melanie, you can unmute yourself, please. I actually had already asked that. I was curious about the um, putting something inside of a QR code and making sure that didn't damage how the QR code scanned. Yes, no, it's um, built into the QR code monkey platform. Um, so um, it, you know, it, it absolutely scans um, just fine. So what I'm gonna do is since some of you came in late, I'm going to, um, I can't read the messages while I'm presenting by the way. So um, here is the my links and the link to the deck that has all those resources in it. So I'm gonna take you to, let me move this out of the way. I will just take you to my uh, LinkedIn profile. And I built my QR code into a Canva banner that I made. So if you were to take your phone, 
what I'm doing is on my LinkedIn profile, I'm driving traffic to my nonprofit website. You don't want to put your LinkedIn profile um, QR code on your LinkedIn profile because people are already there, right? But if you want to drive traffic to your website, then, you know, here you can put your QR code and you can see when you hold this up with your camera app open, it'll take you to my nonprofit website and it does have that logo in there. And I did make it blue. So I've got the hex colors that match um, our, our website. Other questions? Yeah, quite those, yeah, just just a reminder, this is being recorded. So I know people are going to be watching this on the replay. You will get the slides uh, via email on the replay. And Michelle, go ahead and unmute yourself. Yes, thank you. Um, I had put a, a note in the chat. Um, the when you were talking about, um, I think it was the PFP maker. Um, mm -hmm. Is that good for creating memes? Let's start there. And then I have one other question as well. <clears throat> You, you can't really um, do anything but take a, somebody's picture and oh, change the okay. background. So whether you use it for a meme or LinkedIn or Clubhouse or any social media platform, you know, that's up to you how you're going to use it. The PFP maker is basically just to change the background um, or the, the coloring of the background. Okay. Or or make it a black and white picture or a silhouette. There's silhouettes down here at the bottom, um, like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's yeah. awesome, thanks. Yeah. Okay, and then you had also put up that one slide that had all of the free um, image websites. Mm -hmm. And I've been dealing with this a lot lately, so I'm very concerned about using things on the internet because of copyright issues. Yes, yes. And and like what I need right now is I need images for a brochure that we're going to be sending out and for um, basically an advertising postcard. Are all of those really copyright free, uh, so to speak? <laughs> uh, you, you would have to double check all of that. Um, you could go into Adobe and actually purchase a small, a medium, a large, or an extra large type image. And that way, you know, you've paid that dollar or whatever it is. Um, or if you just use Canva, then, you know, everything is royalty free in Canva. So okay, you want to check all that okay. uh, before you use it. But mm -hmm. a lot of people use um, Pixabay um, and Pexels. Um, but I typically find everything that I need uh, in in Canva. But you definitely don't want to use Getty Images because no. that's like an eleven thousand dollar fine per image, and per image, you'll get yeah, so, cease and yeah. desist and all that good stuff. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate sure. that. I see your hand raised, Cat. Let me ask Lynn this question. Somebody sent a direct message. Is there a way to find out the exact hex color and font used in our logo? Um, yes. So um, okay. I'm gonna pull up um a LinkedIn profile from somebody and I'll kind of explain the process of what I did. Okay, and, and then Kat, I'll let you ask your question. Thank you for your patience. So this gentleman um, is marketing, but he's finishing up his schooling on sustainability. And I'm like, Jeffrey, you need to get a picture wearing a tie that is green. You need to be the brand. So what I did was I created this Canva background because of his tie and his suit color. And, you know, we put the, the light bulb, the idea thing with the sustainability um, inside the light bulb. So what I did to get 
as close as possible to that tie color, which was very tiny, is I went into Google and I um, color picker hex code. So I used, you know, one of these things. <laughs> so um, I think it was this, pick your color online, imagecolorpicker.com. So it says, you know, use your image. So I am going to, I guess, upload an image and I'll just pick something. Okay, browser drop an image. So I'll pick something that's on my computer here. Um, I was making um, some images this morning uh, for a veterans organization. And so I just pick a Canva image that I've got. So it was Department of Defense. So let's say, you know, I wanted this, this, um, this copperish color, you know, so I, I guess I just picked um, this and it gave me a hex color. So then when I went to go to um, Canva, I would just take this hex and I would go to the Canva image. And now we're gonna get off on our little colors here. <laughs> but here's this background that I have gray. Now I can put the hex color in. There it is. And so now I've changed my circle to that particular hex color. Did that answer your question? Does that help? That was awesome. Kat, you can unmute yourself. That was awesome, Lynn. Thanks for sharing that. Yep. Kat, did you have a question for Lynn? There you go. I put it out in the, um, I don't know if you can hear me. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. I, I, I put the question out on the chat, but um, is there like a one place I can go to to find like all the image sizes for like Facebook and Twitter? Oh, yes. Yes, there is. I actually... I think I wrote an article on that. So <laughs> um, you can Google that, but I think I actually wrote an article on it. Great careers. Yeah, I can't see the chat when I'm presenting. So you either, you know, somebody has to speak up or um, you have to moderate the chat for me. So image, let me put the word image in. Um, how to create snazzy graphics for LinkedIn and social media. Ah, here we go. An essential list of, oh, these are LinkedIn character counts and image sizes. Um, let me see if I put it in here. Oh, this has even more um, uh, resources than what I put in the deck actually. Um, Don't mean to interrupt, but you did just scroll past a link in that article that had a uh, um, sizes. Yes, you had a link in there. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I, I write blogs every week. So <laughs> Oops. I have a really easy way to do it. Lynn, if you want to, you can sure. read yeah. your deck and send me your deck so that everybody can get this link to this, this um, what you're sharing on the screen, because I'll get 100 emails asking about it. Okay. So, um, Wendy, I see your hand raised. Yes. Okay. So this is really easy. And I, I wrote it in the chat. Every time I want to find a size, because the sizes change so often. I yes. just Google the size for whatever I'm looking for. And it comes right like up a year. You don't even have to like go into any, on any website, just Google just has it. And it's just right up on top. It works every time like a charm. And I don't have to go through all this searching. And then you, you know, with the pop-ups and everything, does that make yeah. sense? 
So I would just Google 2022 social media image sizes, 2023 exactly social. Do. Yes, exactly. And so here's not even social media. The, I go, I go a step further. I'm like, I do um, Facebook cover photo size 2022. Like I, and then it just comes up with that. So if I'm just working on that yeah. and just you don't go have, to Google and ask it, yep. it just pops right up on the first line. Yeah. Yeah. It's been eight fifteen by like through or whatever it, eight, 20 by 315 forever, 850 by 315 forever, but now it yeah. just changed. Yeah. Now, um, when, okay, maybe I should show you one other thing about Canva um, that's kind of cool for um, nonprofits. Um, so we have take, a- um, Lynn, a, why, are you do, why are you pulling that out? Let me take this question from sure. Larson. Yeah. Go ahead, Larson, you can unmute yourself. Miss Larson, there you oh, go. Here I go. Uh, I was wondering how Canva compares to Adobe's Express that they just released. Um, Adobe, I don't have enough experience with, and I am not a graphic designer. I'm just, you know, a resume and LinkedIn profile writer, and I happen to be a nonprofit leader, and I had to do something. Um, to get images for our events where it was easy for me, where I didn't have to understand, you know, stuff from graphic design school or have a certifications. So I can't really answer how it compares. I have used and purchased Adobe images before. Um, and I found that when I was doing a subscription for Adobe, I didn't cancel it in time and I wound up paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars to Adobe because I didn't check my credit card statement. I, I, didn't, I didn't know that they were charging me every month. Whereas Canva, I know that I have it for free from them. Um, and so um, I know I'm not paying anything for my images and I found it very easy to use. When I saw somebody do a demo, I'm like, oh, I can do that. So that's why, you know, I just go with what I know and what I learned. Um, and I thought it was pretty simple to, to use. Okay. So um, every month we do images um, and if I go to let's say projects, um, okay, here's projects shared with me. So I'm gonna go to folders. Mm -hmm. And so here's all our August events. So we have it by week. So here's week of eight one, here's our weekly recaps, our holidays that we put in, you know, et cetera. Um, so We've in the weekly recaps, we've got um, not only you know the weekly recap of, of all the events that we have, but we have um, the, the videos. So um, just because I moved, I'm a little bit behind putting out my whole month of August um, uh, video, but you know I will get to that. But it helps keep us organized. Um, by being able to create folders in Canva and everything is shared with the team. So I just got a new um, intern today and um, he's making graphics already and he's going to be working remotely tomorrow um, to uh, create, create some graphics for me. So I did a little lesson with him hands on um, this morning and now he's ready to go. So are so, those folders all exportable to, like if you need to send an entire folder to somebody, can you export <clears throat> the entire folder or do you have to do it one at a time? You know, that's a really good question. So here's three little dots, um, present folder. Here's a plus folder, add new folder, import from app. Upload. I I don't know. Maybe go I mean, back out one step because I saw sure. three dots next to all your folders too. Okay. Like if you highlight or or hum, yeah, star um, folder. See, okay. K Calaroo 
um, that is the person that created the folder. So because it's uh, a shared with me, I, she makes all, she made all these designs. I didn't do anything, but okay. I can pull up, here's eight one. And for example, um, um, okay, here's eight four. This is the 1200 by um, 630. We're able to use this on Meetup, on Twitter, and on Facebook. So we only have to make um, one rectangle. So Thursday evening, I'm doing um, personal branding online, of uh, what's your shtick, personal branding online and off. It's a free event. It's mainly about branding yourself on LinkedIn. Okay. Um, but, um, you know, I can go in and I can tweak this. Let's say the time changed to 830. Um, so I just go in and edit. So if she made this event because it's shared and she's on my team. Anybody on my team could go in and tweak any of these items or they can make a copy. So let's say um, I've got another event in October. So she can go file, you know, make a copy and then tweak the date or, you know, whatever it happens to be. So she's okay. not ruining my original um, image. Does that help? Yes, that helps. And I, ha I had one more question. Sure. All the free image uh, companies or platforms that you mentioned in your slide deck there, don't you have to give credit to the creator? Um, I'm not sure if it always lists the creator in Canva. I don't think it lists the creator. Oh, I'm talking like uh, Upsplash and Pixabay and sites I, like that. I don't know. Um, you know, you would want to Google that and explore that and make sure that you're not violating any copyright laws. Um, that's why typically I use Canva and I don't, I, I use it'll specifically images. You, it'll specifically tell you if you have to get credit because I have images and it says at the bottom, you have to give credit to this person. So it'll specifically tell you if it doesn't tell you, then it's free. <clears throat> So. Yeah, I, I would say that. So like I write an article on LinkedIn every week except when I move. <laughs> um, so I'm a little bit behind from last week. And I publish um, the images on LinkedIn and on my blog um, in uh, from Canva. So um, if I were to go to... Uh, While she's pulling up, we have time for one more question. So please use the raise your hand option. All right, so if I go to my activity and I click on articles, you're gonna see all these articles. These are all Canva images. And the only thing that I added here is the little laugh emoji. Everything else that was standard, that's standard. I added the LinkedIn logo um, on this one for change, but and then I added her picture on top of a background. So I just use Canva and, you know, I have not um, had any, any problems with any of this stuff. And it's the same thing on the blog on our website. I use the same images. And then I write for um, Vista.today, Monco.today, Delco.today, and Buxco.today. And I use Canva images for him. He has over um, um, 100,000 people that read my blogs uh, or that, that have the ability to read my blogs and his articles. So if I were to put my um, Boolean for a Boolean search. Hey, Lynn, let me interrupt you for one quick second. I have a question. This is the last question. Um, someone yep. not able to unmute themselves. Um, sure. CNLD says, can you provide a resource for using alt text with Canva and some of the resources you highlighted? Um, yeah, I can. Hang, hang on one second. So this guy is a publisher of online platforms um, and I use Canva 
and he knows I use Canva for all the images here also. Okay. All right. So when for alt text, um, when I go to LinkedIn, um, I'm going to click on my company page. So here's the super admin view. And if I'm going to add a photo, um, I'll do the heart and hand. Okay, so here's the alt text. I'm just gonna type heart in hand. Okay, um, so I create my own alt text here. Um, on my website, you just have to know, uh, maybe have Yoast or something similar to that um, to put in the focus keyword, to put in the um, meta, meta description, um, and you put the alt text in, you know, I use Word, Word, um, WordPress. So I'm not sure what platform you're talking about for other alt text, but that's kind of all I can share right now um, is, you know, it's easy to build it into Yoast, a plugin um, SEO on a WordPress site. And here it is on a, a LinkedIn company page. That's awesome. Well, it is one minute left. Lynn, I want to thank you. Wow, that was some great information. All free tools. Lynn, you were amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you for Kevin Wong in the background. And thank you all for your questions. Lynn has put her contact information. Flood her with questions. If you have additional questions, um, she, she will answer really quick. She answers me really quick on LinkedIn. So just make sure you reach out to her if you have any questions. Thank you all for being here. As you're taking care of everybody else, please take time to take care of yourself. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Don't forget to save the chat. Click the three little dots down in the bottom right. Thanks for having me. Thank you.